just want to make a little video in tribute to Harry Gant and the Skull Bandit team. This is a 118th scale NASCAR hauler. It has a 1989 Kenworth. It's done up in the Skull Bandit theme. The trailer was built by MN Trailers out of Romania. The tractor is uh, from Road Kings. I did the uh, livery on the trailer. I had the uh, MM Trailers uh, powder coated it this green. And luckily the green come out, I think it's pretty spot on for the actual Skull Bandit colors. It's extremely close. But this was a little tribute tractor trailer and race car setup that I wanted to do. Harry Gant was my favorite driver. So I really uh, enjoyed his races over the years. It's a shame that the NASCAR Hall of Fame has not inducted Harry into it. I don't know what's wrong with these people that do the voting that they just don't seem to want to put Harry in there for some reason. He deserves to be in there. Uh, but at any rate, this tractor trailer is a tribute to him. And this was when it was, the tractor trailer is, uh, based off of when it was the Mach 1 race team owned by Burt Reynolds and Hal Needham. And, uh, Harry drove for him. He was driving for Race Hill Farms and then they asked him to come over and help them out. But they had Stanton Barrett as their driver of the 22 car. And ended up, this was a great fit for Harry. I'm going to move this camera down now, so. Actually, let's kind of get a little bit of a side shot here of the tractor in the front of the trailer. This is a really nice little setup. This is the back of the trailer and the uh, graphic of the car is actually it's one on each side and it's actually a bumper sticker that you can still buy and I believe you can still get them from Harry Gant's uh, fan club page but some of the uh, first haulers that the Mach 1 race team had Hal Needham had Burt Reynolds and Hal Needham's Grand National stock car on them so I went ahead and put that on this one you know obviously this is a more modern uh, style of hauler than what they had when they first started the team those are two 1994 Chevrolet Luminas they uh the bottom one there is Harry's last uh, race for the Leo Jackson team who owned the team at that time. And they done it up in uh, a tribute paint scheme for the Atlanta race. And then the top car is the regular paint scheme that they were running for the skull. I added Burton House skull onto the top one. And then of course on the B pillar it has Burton House on that being a tribute car. But this is just a, a nice little setup. Inside, this trailer will hold two uh, cars inside of it. That ramp, you can move it up and down. Obviously, it's not hydraulic on this. But it has two pins that you put in it so you can lower it and raise it. Uh, you can close it. It's a really nice little setup. I hope you enjoy looking at it. It was a nice little build I think it makes for a nice little Skull Bandit Harry Gant, Burt Reynolds and Hal Needham tribute I include uh, Leo Jackson's name here on the video because Leo Jackson owned the team the last uh, I think it was nine years that Harry drove for uh, the Skull Bandit but he got half of his wins with uh, the Mach 1 team and the other half of his Winston Cup 10, 
wins came with uh, the Leo Jackson and team on it. So I know uh, Al Needham really uh, loved this team and just thought it would be a nice little little tribute. Hope everybody enjoys it.